Hello. Hello. Kevin. Hi. Today we look at doing new things. And making plans. I can't drive, but I'm going to learn. I'm going to have lessons. Then I'm going to take a driving test. Kevin is making plans for the future. First, he's going to learn to drive at this driving school. Then he's going to take a test. Going to. Kevin is going to learn to drive. What are your plans for the next six months? For the next six months are going to be very busy. I'm going to be a grandmother in July, so I'm going to Switzerland for a month just to uh, be with my daughter. I'm going to celebrate my wedding anniversary, which is this year, 25 years since I was married. I'm going to be at the mill working and also traveling. I'm going to teach here until the end of the summer term. Then I shall have a holiday for eight weeks. I'm going to start a new life. Did you hear me? Yes, dear. What did I say? What am I going to do? You're going to start a new life. That's right. First, I'm going to buy some new clothes. Then, I'm going to get a job. Did you hear me? Yes, dear. You're going to get a job. Next, I'm going to buy a car. That's nice. But you can't drive. That's right. I can't drive, but I'm going to learn. <laughs> to start. Start what? Your new life. New clothes, job, car. Are you going to start now, dear? No, not now. There's sport on TV. I'm going to start a new life. I'm going to start a new life. Are you going to start now? Are you going to start now? At MAP Advertising, Rita has some plans. What is she going to do? Oh, hi, Julia. Dreaming? No. I'm thinking about evening classes. Evening classes? Yes. I'm going to go to evening classes. Why? Because I want to learn a foreign language. Japanese. Why do you want to learn Japanese? Because I like Japan. And I want to do something new. Learning Japanese is going to be difficult. I know. But I'm going to do it. Rita is going to go to evening classes to learn Japanese. Why do you want to learn Japanese? Because I like Japan. So, Rita has plans to learn Japanese. We join her now at her local college. Right. How many languages do you speak? Apart from English, of course. I speak Hindi. Ah. How well do you speak it? Very well. I can write it, too. Any other languages? I can speak a little French, but I can't write it at all. A little French... can't write it. That's it? Yes. And you want to join our beginner's class in Japanese? Yes, please. Well, it's not going to be easy, you know. It's very different from English, Hindi, or French. I know, but I want to do it. 
How many languages can Rita speak apart from English? And how well can she speak them? She speaks Hindi very well. She speaks a little French. She can't write French at all. How many languages do you speak? I speak two, Norwegian and English. English, and then I understand and can speak slightly French, German and Russian. I can speak two other languages reasonably well, French and German. I also have some knowledge of Spanish and Italian. I speak English and I understand Italian and French, but I can't speak them fluently. This is a nice life. No, it isn't. It's easy. It's too easy. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to leave here now. Why? Because I want to be free. And I'm going to travel to Italy, to France, to Germany, to Holland. How many languages do you speak? One, of course. How are you going to speak to Italian dogs, French dogs, German dogs? Oh, um, well, I, um... When are you going to leave? Now. Right now. Well? It's going to rain. Jean Abbott is a teacher in California. Josh Lafrano is one of his students. The course that Jean teaches is a practical one. Automotive repair or how to fix cars. My program is a course in automotive repair. Uh, we we uh, teach people from the age of 16 through adults. We're located on a high school campus. It's vocational, which means that we train people specific skills that they could use in a job. I like classes like this because it's more of the real world than it is sitting there reading a textbook, not knowing what you're going to be using it for. Uh, today's a work day, so when I go back into the shop, I have all of my students working on projects. First, Josh is going to get the air tools out and jack up a car. He's going to take a tire off of that car, probably with the air impact. He's going to take the tire over to the tire machine, let the air out of the tire, take the tire off of the rim like he, was, he would if he was replacing or repairing the tire. Then he'll take it to the tire balancer, he'll balance the tire, and then he's going to put the tire back on the car. Every student is an individual that comes into my program. All of them think that they're going to be able to uh, uh, fix their own car. 
they all have that as a goal that they're going to get out of the program. And then as part of my introduction to the class, I'll let them know some of the other things that they'll all get, which include uh, consumer awareness, being you know, communication skills, and understanding how the car works. Bye. You're going? I have a class in 20 minutes. A class? What kind of class? Italian cooking. I'm going to learn how to cook all those wonderful Italian meals. Great. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.